Weather Control Emergency. Cyber attention on the West Grand Freeway has come down. The cyber structure has collapsed. When disaster strikes in California, first responders come in many forms. Often, disaster victims are helped by police, fire, and emergency medical service crews. But these first responders cannot be everywhere, meeting every need. Today, more often than not, the first responders arriving to provide first aid or to rescue trapped victims are actually our family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, and even complete strangers. And lift. Trained as volunteer community emergency lift, lift, lift. response team members, the 30,000 plus assemble in our communities to make a difference. It all started in 1985 when the Los Angeles City Fire Department developed the Citizens Emergency Response Team concept as a way to train civilians to meet their immediate needs following a disaster. Typically after a disaster, there was more convergent volunteers. There wasn't a, a trained component for volunteers uh, to assist the emergency service personnel. It, it, a pilot program was developed by our fire department to train city officials um, in these aspects, light search and rescue, fire suppression, evacuation, basic first aid. In January of 1994, we had the Northridge earthquake. During that earthquake, hundreds of utilities were shut off by CERT volunteers. Uh, Light fires were, were put out. Basic first aid was rendered with the volunteers all over the city. It was a huge impact with what the certs did during that earthquake. In Oakland, California, trained community volunteers made a difference when the earth shook in October of 1989. The Oakland Fire Department was beginning to look at the Los Angeles CERT program as a citizen preparedness program, but it was really launched after the Loma Prieta earthquake when we recognized that people would naturally want to help, that they should be trained to help so that they didn't become victims as well, and the recognition that fire department, police department resources would be overwhelmed and maybe not where they're needed initially, and so citizens need to be able to take care of themselves. Our thinking is that neighborhoods need to be organized and they need to know one another and be prepared to respond and to cope on their own for several days after a major event. I mean, there are never going to be enough first responders to be able to comfort and provide the assistance that communities need in times of disasters. You need those on the ground folks that have been trained, professionally trained, to be able to respond in an appropriate manner. We need those all hands on deck. We need those CERT volunteers. They take ownership of their community this way by uh, volunteering for the fire department and local public safety. They get a great sense of accomplishment. It's a, it's a big help to us and uh, they can see what, what we do and um, we can sure use their help. My community is important to me and there's a lot of people in my neighborhood that I'm sure would need help and I would want to have the ability to respond. We've been through an earthquake already and we've learned a lot of things and preparing for the earthquake, like tying bookcases down, water heaters, and that type of thing. But we also you know, need to know where to assemble and what to do. So that helps me out. It also makes me much more secure that I know what I should be doing. I think that once you do something like this, that it's going to translate into your personal life anyways. We were just talking. Um, my daughter's getting, you know, emergency supplies for Christmas. As California government moves forward to advance its emergency preparedness and response systems in the 21st century, residents across the state are stepping up to make a difference. Join with them today and bear responsibility for your community's disaster preparedness. Maria Shriver, our First Lady, is our Honorary Chair of the California Service Corps and is really passionate about making sure that California is prepared. And our overall goal is hoping that one out of every 25 Californians has completed our 20 hours of basic training so they can help their communities. I'm counting on you and you're counting on me. We're in this together. Neighbor helping neighbor. <laughs>